Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Broke Brown Gal. I am finally back home after three, wow, it's been three and a half months. Uh, if you guys watched my last video where I was doing an unboxing of my Amazon haul, then you guys know all about it. And I'm finally back home and you can see from my setup, my lovely blue gray wall. And today I have another unboxing for you guys and a review also. So it's an unboxing and review and this time it's going to be a handbag. And I'm really excited because this is the first time that I have ever bought a handbag from this brand. In fact, it's the first time that I ever, when I went to this trip, it was the first time for me that I ever even heard of this brand. So and it's a very famous brand and I'm sure some of you already have their bags. They're gorgeous bags, they're made with the finest materials and I believe they're very fairly priced. So without further ado, let's get started with my review today of Lotion. Actually, I had to Google this, the pronunciation before because I, for the life of me, cannot understand why some, you know, languages would put a letter there or two letters there if you don't intend people to pronounce them at all. I mean, it's so confusing. If you don't want people to pronounce it, just don't put it there. <laughs> okay, guys, let's get started. Okay, here we are with that gorgeous green shopping bag. I love their shopping bag. It's such a pretty color and it has the Longchamp logo on both sides in a lighter fluorescent green. And then here is the box which holds the bag. I had requested my essay to specifically gift wrap it for me because it was my very first purchase from this brand and I was very excited. So here it is. Look at the pretty uh, monogram grow grain ribbon. I almost didn't want to open it up. So here we go. And I love the fact that all most luxury brands give you this hard box uh, with their handbags because it's so easy to store the handbag when you're not using it and not have to worry about it, the shape getting spoiled. There's the dust bag, which comes also with this bag. So you can put your handbag when you're not using it in the dust bag and then put the entire thing in the hard storage box and not have to worry about the bag at all. The bag itself is wrapped in their monogrammed um, wrapping sheet or wrapping paper and here it is the Lou Pliage calf leather handbag this is one of their smallest or smaller handbags and I was specifically looking for a smaller handbag for this particular trip because I wanted to be light and carefree and this is also one of their lightest bags despite the fact that it's a leather handbag it is super light it has a top button closure as well as a zip closure for extra security and inside is their monogrammed fabric and this is the crossbody strap which is inside the back. So I'm just giving you guys a quick overview. We'll go into more detail. Oh, look at that monogram zipper when we review the bag. So I am just going to unwrap the crossbody strap and put it on the bag. There we go. I'm gonna snap it's very easy, it's just a snap on, snap off. So you can actually take this off if you want to take this bag out in a sort of a semi-formal place later on in the day. You can just remove the crossbody strap. And here it is. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed that unboxing. And here is the gorgeous bag, all filled up with all of my stuff and uh, ready for you guys to see. So this bag, like I said, is called the Le Pliage. I hope that's the right pronunciation. My God, I suck at pronouncing. So let me tell you a little bit about where I actually came across this particular brand. So I was in Spain in the last, uh, I think just about a day ago. I've been here just for a day and a half now. So I was in Barcelona actually. And if you guys remember from my last video, when I was going on my unexpected uh, trip, I was carrying my uh, Tory Burch Perry tote. And while that is a fabulous tote for traveling, I used it again um, when I was uh, coming back to Dubai because it's just it's an amazing tote for traveling. It holds all of your stuff, your documents, you know, every single thing you can imagine. It's a workhorse tote. However, when I was in Spain, I was doing a lot of walking, you know, just going out about every single day. And the first two days when I was carrying the Tory Burch tote, it was just really difficult for me to be walking all day and carrying the tote because as gorgeous as it is, it was cumbersome to carry around every single day. And also, with a tote, you're technically not hands-free. And when I'm doing like, when I'm out for hours walking about, I really prefer to be hands-free. I don't want to be lugging something on my shoulder. Also, if you guys remember, I have shoulder back issues, all that stuff. 
So literally, purely out of necessity, I decided I needed to get a bag for myself. I remember I was on La Rambla Street, which is like the, <laughs> the most popular tourist destination uh, in Barcelona. And on La Rambla Street, I was walking and I had made up in my, you know, I had already made up my mind that I needed to get a crossbody, hands-free, small bag for myself so that I could go around, you know, every single day because we were there for like 12 days and I really needed something urgently so i happened to walk into the long shop store i went into the store i'm going to put up the video of the long shop store right here. i was unable to film the outside of the store they don't allow you to film inside the store which is also the case here in dubai if you go into fancy stores they really don't allow you anyway the essay was really lovely and i explained to her in my broken Spanish <laughs> that I wanted to get a lightweight bag and then she showed me a lot of the options in the end we decided on the Lupliage bag and this one comes in their uh, signature nylon but I wanted to go for leather because I'm a leather girl so she helped me choose uh, narrow down this one and there were different colors in this bag I'm gonna put up the available colors here but I decided to go for the black just to be on the safe side uh, I think black is such a classic color and it goes with everything, right? Black goes with everything. So I decided to go with this bag. Um, I really only wanted to carry my essentials as we went out every single day, but I still wanted the bag to be roomy enough so that it would hold, if I wanted to stuff in anything extra, it would hold. And I wanted a bag that was still structured, but not so stiff that, you know, like, like for example, the Lady Dior bag, that's pretty stiff. You cannot force anything into the bag. You know, you cannot force anything in the bag beyond its capacity. I wanted a bag that, would not gonna, that was not gonna flop down when I put it down, but that would still have room to expand need the, you know, the need be. So I chose this one and it's a very small bag. I'm gonna put up the measurements here, but for now let's go over just the exterior and the interior of the bag. So it has these two carry handles. Obviously they're not meant to go over the shoulder. You can just hold it like this. And this is essentially a crossbody bag. So I believe these are just like, you know, just to just as an accent to the bag, these handles. The great thing about these handles is that they're not just like stiff, you know, like some bags, the handles don't fall down. I don't like those kind of bags. In this, the handles kind of flop down or you can put them on one side. So it makes it easier when you're carrying it across your body. It also comes with this crossbody strap. The crossbody strap is not adjustable. So if you are a, sh a tall person, I don't think this is the right bag for you. But for me at 158 centimeters, my height, this was a perfect bag. And I'm going to first put up a video so you guys can see where the bag falls on me. Take a quick look at the video so that you guys know how the bag is going to fall if you're my height and my stature, and then we'll get back to it. Okay, so you guys can see here that the loupliage hits me right at the hip and I'm 158 centimeters short if you are taller then this might not be the right bag for you because keep in mind the straps are not adjustable okay so i hope that video was a good visual and it gave you an idea of where the bag is going to fall on you okay so that's the stra uh, the crossbody strap the crossbody straps are removable and they are embossed with the long shop i think it's the it's a um a, a rider on a racing horse i don't know what the exact term for that is but so it has it here and also on the other side it's also embossed i love custom embossment on logos i think it just embossment embossment on logos i think it looks just so amazing also the back of the bag has the logo embossed on it and uh the front also has it here and oh yeah the zipper so the zipper is so super cool i have not seen a zipper like this honestly look at that do you guys see that is such a cool zipper Oh, the button is also embossed. So they have custom custom hardware on this bag, which is fabulous. There's a button closure here, and then you open it up and the zipper opens up like this. And then inside I have stuffed it almost to the max. So don't be fooled by the size of this bag. For a tiny bag, it holds a lot. And oh my God, it is so lightweight. I know leather bags are typically very heavy, but this was such a lightweight bag. Okay, so let's show you guys uh, what is inside this bag so, to give you an idea of the capacity. The inside is uh, lined. There's lined fabric on the inside. It has long shop all over it, which is totally fabulous. The zipper is also, uh, zipper is also a custom hardware. I don't know if you guys can see this. It has one zippered pocket and inside the zipper pocket is where I keep my headphones. You can also keep your keys in there if you so wish to. I have my, oops, I have my wallet in here. 
and this is like a kind of a chunky wallet so it's not like one of those slip card holders it's a proper wallet i have a pack of wet wipes in here i have my hand cream in here i have my coach wristlet and this holds all of my essentials like you know lip balms and comb and mirror that's in here and then on the other side there is um, a slip pocket so this is a slip pocket and this is the capacity of the bag and in addition to all these things that you just saw me i also have my phone which i cannot show you right now because i'm recording on it so it holds all of these things and on days when i'm not using my uh, wallet like on days when i'm not carrying my wallet and i'm just using apple pay then i can also fit in my sunglass my eyeglasses case which is a pretty chunky case and this case has been such a problem for me because this is the reason why i cannot get so many of the bags that i like because it does not fit into a lot of the smaller bags and it takes away too much room so when it's filled like this i can also slide my phone on top and then i can zip it closed oh sorry had to put that in i can zip it closed and oh look at that now if this isn't a workhorse bag i don't know what is this is i honestly i was in love with this bag it had everything that i needed it, it was luxurious materials this is calf leather it's super lightweight it is so easy to carry and the fact that it can you know just keep on accommodating more stuff you're not restricted by the structured design of the bag i love the fact um, that it holds so much and the fact that it has a crossbody strap so i can just put it around my body and then off I go. So that was my experience with the uh, Longchamp uh, brand. I loved it so much in fact that I actually also got one of their totes which I'm going to be reviewing for you in my next video but I'll give you a sneak peek of what it looks like here so if you're interested you guys can subscribe to the, subscribe to the channel. Uh, join me when I review that particular bag. I hope you guys enjoyed this mini review. Uh, if you have any questions do put them down in the comments and I will see you guys next time in my other videos. Alright guys, take care. Bye-bye.